If the ban is approved, it'll go into effect next July. You know, the weather has actually been nice lately. I know, it was a little chilly last, or yesterday actually, but Jeremy Dunk joins us now. And Jeremy, can we expect to see some more sun? Well guys, that's actually not the case as we have rain and possible actually snow in the forecast for the next couple days. And actually, as we take a look at the forecast for the area tomorrow, you can see rain throughout the region and temperatures in the mid to low 50s. And so it's not looking so great for the next few days. And stay with us. For the full forecast, you're watching NTC News Tonight. How's it going everyone? Welcome back. As we start by taking a look at today's almanac, you can see the high today was 39, that low was 35. Kind of back to what we've been used to these last couple months is we're well below that normal of 57 and way below that record high of 83 set back in 1977. And if you were like me this morning, you were rudely awoken by Mother Nature. And this is why you could see a, a screenshot from the radar this morning at 7 a.m. You could see this strong band of storms that went through the area, producing lots of rain, lots of thunder, lightning, very strong winds. And actually at the observation sta station here on campus, there was hail recorded. And you could see those storms have now moved off into the east, but there's a lot of rain still in the area as these storms are going through throughout the entire width of the United States. And they are following this cold front throughout the surface and that's going to stay with us for the next few days and as that moves off into the east we got another low moving in Friday and that's going to produce more rain over the weekend but as we move back to tonight it's going to be cold the low of 36 degrees it's going to be rainy and very windy as we got winds up from up to 20 to 25 miles per hour out of the east to northeast gusts up to 35 so definitely you want got to bring out that winter coat again keep those hats on your head because it's going to be very windy and not too pleasant out and those clouds and rain will stay with us tomorrow. The high will get up to 49 degrees. The winds do die down a bit, 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the east to southeast. But just as we thought it was all out of our area for good for, good for the year, we have a chance of possible snow showers tomorrow night one, after 1 a.m. The low is 35. The wind's still not too bad at 10 miles per hour out of the west to southwest. But just like when we think it's over, it's still there. And as we move to the weekend, the weekend not looking too nice either. We got precipitation throughout the weekend. We got the high and rain on high of 49, rain on Thursday. Got that mixture of snow in the morning and then rain throughout the day Friday, the high of 44. More rain Saturday, 47. We're going to get up to 60 on Sunday, but potential for some heavy thunderstorms through the area. Then more rain Monday with the high of 55. So it's definitely not looking too great, but we're going to have to deal with it. That's all I have. Back to you guys at the desk. 